You're still watching TVC News at 7. Governor Simon Lalong of Plateau State has signed the long-awaited anti-kidnapping, land-grabbing, cultism, and the 2021 appropriation bills into law in the state. The laws are expected to help tackle the challenges of insecurity deviling the state in recent times, as well as to help for the promotion of economic development of Plateau State. TVC News' Funam Joshua reports. Cultism armed robbery, and the snatching of passengers belonging inside vehicles, popularly known as One Chance, have become rampant in recent times, disturbing the peace of some communities in Plato State. Innocent lives and properties have been lost as a result of the activities of criminals in the state. Kemwan Wesley and her daughter were the latest victims in Joss. She was shot and killed a few days before Christmas, while her daughter was kidnapped by gunmen right inside their home. This and other violent crimes prompted the state governor, Simon Lalong, to quickly sign the anti-kidnapping, cultism, and land-grabbing bills into law. With the law now in place, any person or persons convicted for kidnapping will face death penalty by lethal injection or hanging. The convict would also forfeit his or her assets to the government. Illegal cold activities attract a minimum term of seven years imprisonment without the option of a fine. This new law will deal with anyone caught in the act and allow all security agencies to be on their toes and ensure that culprits are apprehended and made to face the law. Mr. Lalong also signed into law the 2021 appropriation bill of over 147 billion 537 million naira. We hope to support businesses that will in turn pay taxes, especially now that we have signed into law the new tax law for development. I appeal to all citizens to support us as we fulfill our goal of achieving sustainable economic rebirth and empowering our people. This event is the first official appearance of the state governor after he tested positive for COVID-19 and went on self-isolation. He has now been certified negative and calls on all residents of the state to do more in observing the safety protocols provided by the Nigeria Center for Disease Control. I witness all the symptoms. It's not everybody that witnesses the symptoms that survive. Mm -hmm. The last one with two of my friends, I lost them. Mm -hmm. But by God's grace, I survived it. And my prayer is that if we keep to the rules, we will survive it. Mm -hmm. So the only good way is to observe the protocols. The government of Plateau wishes all residents of the state a happy Christmas celebration and a prosperous New Year. Phnom Joshua, PBC News, Joss.